Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Berry Views today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, I do appreciate you stopping by. Today's beer comes from Foam Brewers. This is their Think I'm In Love. And this comes from Brother Greg, and he writes another double IPA from Foam. This is one of those breweries with a line that forms before opening. He picked it up at the brewery on October the 20th, and today is the 12th of November, so just a couple of weeks old. Uh, when I went to do the research before I got started, Beer Advocate doesn't even have this brewery, this brewery listed at all. No beers, nothing from the brewery whatsoever. Typed in phone brewery, nothing came back. Typed in the name, nothing came back. So basically it's between me and untapped uh, Beer Advocate. And it sometimes happens. Doesn't even have it listed, so nobody has commented or put anything in from uh, that brewery. Must be a pretty small brewery or a fairly new brewery or both. So, uh, Greg, I do appreciate you sending it to me. Let me try it. Uh, we're going to find out what it's all about. All right, guys. Uh, I don't have anything else to tell you. There's no commercial description on Untapped about it. So let's get to pouring. Big 16 ounce can, plain Jane Silver with a wraparound label. Alright, it's coming out kind of hazy. And a lot of times you get some settling, but this one's fairly fresh. So I don't know if we're going to get a whole lot of settling in this beer or not. But when we get it all in there except for the last little bit, which we'll go do before we go off camera. Nice finger of head, bright orange juice looking color very cloudy looks like a new england style beer uh, and this is an imperial or a double ipa being an eight percenter to the nose we go very nice tangerine and oranges nice citrusy notes hints of some grapefruit guys and that's what i'm getting on the nose so let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Very, very nice. Nice and balanced. Uh, they had the canned on date right on the bottom of it. Even for a tiny brewery like that, not even listed on Beer Advocate. It tells you how small it is or how new it is, but they're still dating their stuff <clears throat> when it's picked up at the brewery. And a lot of other breweries are doing the same thing, guys. If you're going to be in this game, whether it's brewery only, release, uh, I personally think they ought to have a date on it. So you know. Whether you're standing in line for it, you know. When you get it home, you got it in the refrigerator, uh, you know uh, how old the beer is when you pull it out. You look at the bottom of it and it tells you. And if you're trading it or sending it to somebody else, or like he did to me, there's no question. I mean, it's written right on there. So I'm a firm believer of that, guys. Uh, I think all of them, if you're going to be in the IPA or double IPA game, you ought to have a dating machine to date your beers, whether it's distributed or not. Just my opinion, though. That's very, very pleasant to drink. Very well balanced. A lot of fruity notes in there. Not extremely bitter on the back end. Very smooth. Alcohol is super well hidden. Very, very tasty. Uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with that. Now, I haven't had a whole lot of stuff from these guys, but 
they're doing the uh, New England style double IPA very well, in my opinion. But we're gonna we're gonna sip on it, straight out of the fridge, and uh, see where it ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Nice lacing, not awesome lacing on this one. Uh, very tasty, very well done, uh, very balanced beer. Uh, nice sweetness to it. Alcohol super well hidden. A nice tropical fruit notes, uh, fruity tangerines, oranges, grapefruit, maybe a little mango in there, maybe even be some peaches in there. Very pleasant beer to drink. Uh, I would probably buy this beer if I could get it here, especially being an 8%er, done as well as this one is done. Uh, ABV is on the can, dates on the bottom of it, everything you need to make an educated purchase, guys. So, uh, very nice. I enjoyed this one. Greg, thanks so much, my brother. Final chug. This one has a nice sweetness to it and not too bitter. Very enjoyable. A nice, balanced double IPA. Very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. Guys, to me, uh, a beer. I'm going to give this a 98, guys. Uh, very, very tasty. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. Uh, like I said, uh, Beer Advocate didn't do, doesn't even have this brewery listed at all or any other beers that they do. I couldn't find it. Typed in the brewery, typed in the name. Didn't get any results from, from these guys. So, it's between me and Untapped. I gave you my score. The Untapped has it at 4.35. Uh, nice A numbers from those guys, too. So, if you've had this one from Foam Brewers, this is their Think I'm in Love Double or Imperial IPA. Definitely a New England style beer. Very, very well done, guys. So, if you've had this one, let me know what you think. And if you can get your hands on it, pick it up. Give it a try. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.